What does it take to be a great creative? Let me think about that. Um, for the, uh, the young creative I work with, I'm always saying surround yourself with the best. Surround yourself with people that you can learn from that are different if you're a writer. Connect with art directors, connect with coders. Bring people into your circle that come from different backgrounds and be open to the types of things that you can learn from them if you listen. Listen. Keep your mouth closed. Listen. I think a lot of people just feel like they need to say something in a room. Sometimes the most powerful thing that you can say is nothing. Sometimes the most powerful thing you can say is to say nothing at all. <laughs> so I say do that. And then also I'd say um, definitely take yourself out of your comfort zone. Case in point, um, I worked in New York for years. And when I was offered a job to work at Shia Day in San Francisco, it felt like the most unfamiliar thing in the world. But it was for the opportunity to work on Adidas. I took the chance. Throughout my career, the things that have shaped and framed my career have been times when I've felt uncomfortable, when I've stepped out of my comfort zone. I promise you, it'll yield great results. I think the first thing you need to do is, is never consider yourself a great creator. Curiosity is everything. And, and when you, whether it's an idea or your career, you have to keep questioning yourself and keep asking yourself, what's next? Can I do something else? Can I do something more interesting? Can I do something better? Those things are, are crucial in this business to stay fresh and to stay relevant. So I think, I think the, the, the misnomer of a great creative, let other people call you a great creative, never call yourself that. What does it take to be a great creative? Um, having a natural curiosity about the world around you and being open to um, just different ideas, music, film, whatever it may be. What it also takes to be a great creative is um, a bit of, you have to be an empath, you know? I think you have to be able to be willing to read people and to um, also be vulnerable as well. The people who have had the most provocative evolution as creatives are people like Prince, you know. Uh, I think I'm, I'm really into Picasso. Uh, I really love Dick Gregory. Sometimes uh, being a great creative is also knowing how to be timeless as well, you know, knowing how to stand the test of time. So all things that I can relate to and all things that I appreciate and life around me.